North Korea, which has been accused of illegally supplying weapons to Russia, said that U.S. military aid worth $8 billion to Ukraine is an incredible mistake and playing with fire against nuclear superpower Russia. Helping Ukraine to attempt further reckless military action is dangerous gambling and irresponsible behavior, said Kim Yo Jong, deputy head of the Central Committee Department of Workers' Party of Korea and the sister of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. According to her, the United States and the West should not ignore or underestimate Russia's stern warning. It is not too late for the US to understand the fact that they should cool their heads, heated by anti-Russian confrontational hysteria, abandon the stupid and unreasonable Zelensky, who is trying to attack even the depth of the territory of a nuclear power, and take a step back. Only then will they have a chance to stop the great disaster approaching every day, Kim Yo Jong said. She added that if the United States does not stop Zelensky's outrages now, it will be difficult to avoid a major catastrophe. The North Korean leader's sister commented separately on Kyiv's accusations that Pyongyang allegedly supplied Moscow with weapons. According to her, such statements by Ukrainian officials are pure nonsense. Taking this opportunity, I would like to seriously warn you that recently, on the sidelines of the UN Security Council meeting, Zelensky dared to insult our state. Zelensky's evil clique, which recklessly abuses all sorts of weapons, the US and the West, and is killing innocent Russians, was talking nonsense, presenting our country as an accomplice in the Ukrainian war. This is complete nonsense and a crazy political provocation that cannot be justified, emphasized a relative of Kim Jong-un. In her opinion, the world community is already tired of Zelensky's persistent requests to provide Ukraine with even more weapons. The world has begun to tire of Zelensky's penny game, summed up Kim Yo Jong. Kim, who holds a position in North Korea's ruling Workers' Party, often makes statements on Pyongyang's position on political and security matters believed to be authorized by the country's supreme leader. North Korea and Russia have dramatically upgraded their ties in the past year, with their leaders meeting twice and agreeing on a comprehensive strategic partnership that includes a mutual defense pledge. North Korea has shipped at least 16,500 containers of weapons to Russia since September last year, and Russia has fired missiles from those shipments against Ukraine, the United States has said. Another footage has been released of the Ukrainian General Intelligence Service's attack on the Pyotr Godovalets gas platform in the Black Sea. The fighters of the main intelligence agency and the fighters of the Dozer unit of the border troops took part in the operation that started overnight. Fighters approaching the platform in boats opened fire from a machine gun. As a result, fire started on the platform. It should be noted that the gas platform, which was under Russia's control until this September, came under the control of the Ukrainian army as a result of the attack. Sea Force naval drones were also used in the operation to liberate the platform located near Zmany Island. Israel troops were deployed on Saturday near the border with Lebanon while tensions increased following the killing of Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah. Hezbollah has confirmed that its leader of more than three decades was killed in an Israeli airstrike in Beirut on Friday. The group vowed to continue its fight against Israel even as Israel's attacks on Hezbollah targets pounded areas around Lebanon's capital. The United Nations says the number of those displaced from southern Lebanon has topped 211,000. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu abruptly cut short a visit to the United States to return home after saying that Israel's campaign against Hezbollah will continue.